Yeah, and I want to touch on, um, before we get into the diets that you're going to talk about as a, you know, a lot of people have an issue with the with the digestion, and it's really important to have those enzymes. You might need number one, the accelerated keto, which is the supplement that kicks you into fat burning within thirty minutes. But what it also is doing is it's helping you intermittent fast, which is helping heal the gut and giving you that time to heal the gut because a lot of times, that the detoxification is not happening because our gut is leaky, right? So the accelerated keto puts us into fat burning within 30 minutes. It helps to control the appetite and increase your physical and mental energy. And a lot of women at this age are commenting on brain fog. It teaches your body to utilize its own fat stores for energy. As your energy increases, your cravings for the sugar decrease and you're able to intermittent fast and reduce that insulin resistance, cleanse the liver, clean up the excess estrogens, reduce inflammation and reduce oxidative stress. And what's different about the accelerated keto versus any other ketone supplement is it has a whole bunch of other uh, cofactors in the formula to increase that ATP production. And that ATP is our true cellular energy that goes down as we age. So it's really great that that's going to be increasing. It defats the liver where the fat burning occurs and the hormones are regulated and the sugars are processed. And so this is where the liver um, is where the body can detox those xenoestrogens that lead to estrogen dominance. And then the one other thing I'll I'll tack on with that is the the mega spore is a, a, sub, a probiotic that I really like because it's it's got a brain essentially. A lot of probiotics are. Just I love that probiotic too. I mean, I love your products. I'm like smiling. I love the accelerated keto. I love your iodine. I mean, those are really good. I mean, they're so good. And iodine is essential for every hormone receptor in our body. And so, and mega spore biotic. I love that. Um, yeah, I love that product. Remind yeah. me, I have to get more of all of the above. <laughs> Thank you. And it's really interesting when, you know, people say, oh, well, I, I can't, I have to take this vitamin, I have to take this vitamin, or I need to get these, um, my, my B vitamins from grains. I love that one. And I'm saying, well, you're not absorbing them because the grains are, grains are causing leaky guts, which then is nothing's being absorbed, right? So you have to heal the gut for the fat burning, for the um, nutrient absorption. And that's why I love pairing these supplements with your um, menu pause, um, different plans. So as we're going through these plans, I want everyone to think about how they can use the Acceleridine to increase their ATP, increase their energy, their thyroid health, their brain health, get rid of the brain fog, the, the Accelerated Keto to help flip you into that fat burning so that you can actually get off that weight loss plateau. I've had a lot of people come to me saying, I'm doing keto, I've intermittent fasted, but I'm hitting that plateau. And we're going to get into Anna's um, um, advice on that too. But that keto flips you into fat burning, starts targeting that visceral, liberal, liver, and abdominal fat that we want to get rid of. But we want to heal our gut as we do it. So um, Anna, let's go through your five uh, different plans and why you would use them. And I love this book. I love the recipes in it. And it's so easy and beautiful. It's a beautiful book too. Yeah. So you guys, this is a book. Check it out. I mean, you're definitely going to want to get one for a friend too. So get a couple. It's available everywhere. Books are sold. And when just, you know, it's full of really beautiful um, recipes and pictures and some of my favorites. So, you know, just really gorgeous recipes and so much fun. So, and it's a heavy book. It's a tabletop book and um, it's practical because there are five six day menu plans that each pause, hence menu pause, something specific. So there's like the, so in the five plans, we do them each for six days, because that's two 72 hour cycles. Research shows that the gut mucosa re-epithelializes, regenerates every 72 hours. 
So in two cycles, we get a real glimpse, a good wink of how we're doing, you know, healing and, um, and does this agree with us or not? And um, four of the plans are all really keto green specifically. They're really to improve your body's insulin sensitivity. So diabetics, thyroid disease, heart disease, inflammation, all of that improves in these, in these plans. And I wrote it because I'm working in my keto green way for however, gosh, my gosh, since 2014, 2015, that there are sometimes we hit a plateau and say, what's going on? What do we need to shift, right? We always have to work out all the different things that could be blocking us. But sometimes it, it really comes down to food as medicine. So the first plan is what I call keto green extreme. And that is following an autoimmune paleo protocol as well, an autoimmune protocol. So eliminating nightshades and peppers and um, eggplant and tomatoes and good things like that. So that's the first plan. And every, all plans are designed with intermittent fasting, no snacking, two or three meals a day. You know, typically all the menus have three meals a day, but you can, you can go to two meals a day. I want to make sure you get enough protein in um, because that's so important as we get older and we tend to forget about that. Um, and the second plan is more of a plant-based plan. And the reason it's there to uh, bring in a lot of vegetables and diversity to support our gut microbiome, plus constipation is a really big problem in the keto community. And for many women and men, as we get older, and we need a bowel movement per day, one of the ways we detox is through our bowel movements. And if we are constipated, we're re, you know, we're increasing our toxic reabsorption. And so it's really important. So the second plan is designed to help with those couple things. And the third plan is really a carnivore plan. And the carniv it's a carnivorous plan, but it's nose to tail and designed to help you uh, really get some of those organ meats in and just see what a healthy plan looks like. And herbs and spices are put in there too. And the fourth plan is the cleanse. I call it the keto green cleanse or detox cleanse. And that is a, um, you know, just a, just a powerful cleanse, six days of smoothies and bone broth, very healing for that gut mucosa. So for leaky gut, very healing. And then the fifth plan is because sometimes we have to carb up. So it's a healthy way, a six day plan, a healthy carb up plan. And if you're a cycling female, you'd want to do this in your luteal phase. You want to do that fifth plan in your luteal phase. And so um, those are the five different plans. And my gosh, the recipe is like the shakshuka down here. It's lovely. My Texas rodeo skillet is another one. Almond fig scones. Um, and, you know, I mean, and it's also bringing in ethnic foods, herbs, and spices from around the world. I love it. And it, I love the variation. Um, you touched on constipation, and that's something that a lot of women in general suffer from. I was talking to one client, and she didn't think it was a problem that she only went once a week. Mm -hmm. And you have to think, well, when you were when you were nursing and having your babies, how often did they poop? They pooped every single time they ate. That's what we're meant to do. And there's one supplement called Laxa Comfort that I have that does help you go every single day because even when you eat as many vegetables as you are talking about, some people still have a problem. Um, and then the question is, too, and Anna, I'd love your opinion on this, when they go to the carnivore-ish diet, because I rotate. I love my carnivore days. I love my more vegan days. And I also love the days where I carb up. And it's really interesting when I see my um, thyroid and my metabolism kind of rev up when I have those carb days, you know, incorporating those. But when are you do you notice that when you're more carnivore ish that you're not going to the bathroom quite as often as when you are on those strictly green days? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I do for myself and um, much better now. I mean, I, I mean, I said the thir first 30 years of my life were constipated. I had no idea. 
And um, until I stopped dairy, dairy was the big thing that constipated me. I think my gut is so much improved now. I mean, that doesn't happen except when I have dairy. So even if it was like Parmesan sprinkled into a pesto sauce, it's so sad, but it's definitely true. Yeah. And I, I tell a lot of the, my clients, if they're on a plateau, the two things that need to go are dairy and nuts. Um, nuts are, you know, they were the big keto buzzword um, years ago when keto became such a big thing. But in nature, it actually is carbs and fat all in one. It kind of is the only besides dairy um, food source like that, where animal proteins are fat and protein. There's no carbs in it. And they're not necessary. That combination is what can cause weight gain. So if you're having any nuts in your diet and you can't get off that plateau, that is something to look at. Um, I wanted to mention a couple other things that could be helpful for, for us women in that perimenopause, uh, menopause age group, and that's magnesium. And I love the magnesium breakthrough from bio-optimizers. You can find it at Accelerated Health Products as well. But uh, magnesium helps with phase two liver detoxification of estrogen, in addition to performing over 600 other biochemical reactions in the body. And then one other thing that I don't think most people realize is the choline, women stop producing um, choline in, uh, in menopause. In addition to helping with phase two liver detox, methylation of estrogen and cell ma- membrane support for that phase three de- detox, choline can actually help facilitate the burning of stored fat too. So that's something that um, I think is really important to look at. If you're not getting it, it's in eggs, egg yolks, and liver. So if you're not eating those foods, you may need to supplement. And I like the choline and inositol um, because that also helps with your sugar balance and insulin. Um, But those are a couple of the things. Um, Anna, do you have any other thing to any other ideas that you want to throw out as far as people that are on that plateau? Yeah, you know, definitely it's shift things up. You have to change things up. If you're doing the same thing all the time, it's shifting. It can be a food sensitivity. I always joke that if I see chicken salad in your three-day recall plan, I'm banning you from chicken salad. You know, that's it. Because it's so many people, it's in their plan every single day. They think chicken salad is is good for you. And chicken actually is high in alpha-linoleic acid, especially the way it's been farmed. And that's going to create a plateau and inflammation in your body. So eliminating the chicken, it's so sad because you went from McDonald's to Chick-fil-A and I love Chick-fil-A as a company actually. But, um, you know, I mean, it's, 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 it's just processed and, and, um, you know, it's, it's not, it's purest free range form. And that's what we really have to identify. So that's one thing. And the second thing is you've got to do weight bearing exercises. I'm saying this out loud. So I can remind myself to do that today. (laughs) And um, that's the second thing. And the third is you make sure you're getting a good night's sleep. And then I use adaptogens too. You know, uh, Sarah's a big fan of my Mighty Maca Plus formula, my adaptogenic formula, and I don't go a day without it. And so it's been a really, that's been a big process as well as progesterone cream in the evening to help with balancing your hormones and get a good night's sleep and decreasing the inflammation. So those are, those are like two of the big supplements that I'll often add into my client's regimen along with digestive enzymes of course you know eating them as much as possible like fermented foods kimchi sauerkraut um bitter melon you know uh ginger things like that is you know really important to support the gut microbiome and bacteria and yeah yeah so those those are those are some big those are some big things that i find in working with patients i have to shift 